God's love for me. Today I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today I open myself to God's word so I would become more like Jesus every day. Today I proclaim that I am God's beloved, I am God's servant, I am God's powerful champion, and I am God's awesome king. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Let's go and worship, kids!
Hello, awesome kids. Happy Sunday. Teacher Che here to give you God's message this Sunday. Today, we will be having a special talk. Before that, let's review what we have learned from Talk 7 last Sunday. Do you remember the five brave lessons from the bleeding woman who was healed by Jesus? Let us recall them one by one. Desperation can be a good thing. Welcome interruptions. You're already accepted by God. We all need Jesus. You are Jesus' healing robe in this world. Very good, kids. Now, let's go to our main lesson. Do you know what we are celebrating today? Yes, it's All Saints Day, a day set to honor all the saints. Are you familiar with St. Francis? How about St. Joseph or St. Therese? They are some of the well-known saints. So now, let's learn more about saints. Basically, saints are people who lived their lives in holiness. They were the heroes of the Catholic faith who, by the help of the Holy Spirit, placed the love of God above all else. They consciously chose to become holy, to follow God, and to love their neighbor more than themselves while they lived on earth. Saints are being declared as one by the church because someone or some people prayed to him or her and a miracle happened after. With these, you might be asking kids, Teacher Che, if saints are holy like God, should we pray to them? The answer is yes. Praying to the saints only means that we request from them to pray in our behalf. We believe that saints, the Christians in heaven, remain in unity with those of us on earth. It is called the communion of saints, which we say we believe in when we pray the Apostles' Creed. It is a spiritual union or fellowship between the living and dead Christians. When we pray to the saints, we are asking them to help us by praying to God on our behalf, just like when we ask our friends and family to pray with and or for us. Remember kids, we do not worship or give the saints the same honor we give to God, but we ask for their help so that we can get closer to God. Based on these lessons, do you think it's possible for you to be a saint? Yes, of course. In fact, let me cheer you on by giving you our big message. Are you ready? Listen very well, kids. Today, God is telling you that you can become a saint in the making. Yes, you heard me right. That is our big message. You are a saint in the making. Huh, teacher? Me becoming a saint? Yes, kids. Saints are ordinary people just like us who place the love of God and neighbor above all else. So while we are still on earth, Doing good things prepares us to be a saint someday. Let me introduce Blessed Carlo Curtis to inspire you. By being declared by the church as blessed just recently, he actually is one step away from being a saint. The young Carlo Acutis was an ordinary young man who lived his life in an extraordinary way. He loved playing soccer, engaging in video games, and exploring the internet. In the same way, he was also very generous. He used his first savings as a little boy to buy a sleeping mat for a homeless man. And he did not stop at this. He made the lives of people around him pleasant by doing little acts. Being an internet savvy and a lover of the Eucharist, Carlo Acutis at the age of 11 began to investigate the Eucharistic miracles 
that have occurred in history. He used all his computer knowledge and talents to create a website that traced that history. His mission on Earth was completed when he died of leukemia at the very young age of 15, offering all his sufferings for the church and for the Pope. Carlo Acutis will remain an inspiration, especially to the young people of today. With this story of Blessed Carlo Acutis, I hope that you are now more inspired that it is not impossible for you to become saints, kids. As you try to be one, also remember our Bible verse for today from 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 2 to 3. As St. Paul said, the church of God that is in Corinth, to those who are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints, together with all those who in every place call on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, both their Lord and ours. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Indeed, grace and peace will be upon you because you are a saint in the making. That's all for now, awesome kids. Have fun in your activity with Teacher Anme and see you next Sunday. Take care. Hello, awesome kids. Happy All Saints Day. This is your teacher, Anne May, joining you for this week's activity. Are you ready? The talk today teaches us about who saints are and how they live their lives. Aren't they awesome? I hope they inspire you to live a holy life and to love like Jesus. Who is your favorite saint? How much do you know about them? For our activity today, we will answer this worksheet as we try to know more about them. We'll provide a link to the worksheet below so you can print it. You can fill up another worksheet if you have more than one favorite thing. You may ask your parents, siblings, or guardians help to fill up the blanks if you are not sure what to write. When you are done, don't forget to post your finished work in the comment section of the Feast PICCAM Awesome Kids Ministry Facebook page. We are excited to see your work. That is it for activity today. Thank you for joining us and don't forget, you are a saint in the making. Now remember that we are always in the presence of God. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day. Thank you, Lord, for our work and play. Thank you, Lord, for all the things that we have learned today. Send forth all the saints and guardian angels to guide us on our way. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye! See you next Sunday! Stay safe! God bless you. Why can't you?